afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Winjama. And today, we're going to be going over some footage from Mr. Boss for the win, actually. He just posted a video up about three hours ago going over some more of the potential locations that will be announced and um, the future DLC that is rumored. And um, it is, I am not a hipster too, just in case you guys aren't informed yet. And um, we're going to be looking at some of the mansions. Start that the video's point is the discussion in this in this specific video, but um, I would like to be to be like specifically discussing potential homes and potential mansions that you would guys like to see open, and I would like to take a different approach. Like these guys, um, uh, I don't want to, you know, overstep my boundaries or anything, but Rockstar for the last few years have, you know, when it comes to a DLC and releasing properties and shit, it's been, you know, kind of half-assed to me. You know, it, it could be, this game could be potentially a lot better. I mean, I, I personally would work for their studio and would give them ideas and pitch them ideas for DLCs. And you guys will know what I'm talking about when I finish this video. But, um, Let's say, for instance, let's take, for instance, uh, this next step. All right. So um, he's going through the houses right now, showing the potential houses that will be available in this next DLC. But as you can tell by the the two or three that have already been shown, well, besides this one, this is actually one of the nicer locations. And I actually qualified this house as a mansion. And it also has a tennis court in the backyard, which is an outstanding uh astonishing feature that they could add to this to make this new and make it more you know you know more cool to online because like just like mr boss for the wind said if they added this uh tennis court feature to the backyard you know you get, if you have guests over your house you could uh potentially you know go to the backyard and just play a couple matches of tennis for fun or bet money on it or you know just you know more options to uh interact with other people in the online community because um as it stands there's really not too much oh and speaking of i'm just gonna sh let this commercial ride out because this is a rockstar commercial but yeah um for the mansions etc what i'm talking about doing is later on here tonight i'm going to be doing a separate tour and uh, this tour is going to consist of the nicest mansions in Los Santos. And uh, we're going to see which which uh, houses that you guys personally would like to see in the update. And see, let's see if uh, Rockstar can maybe look at this video in the future or maybe just, you know, take take a look at us and let us know that you guys do care about the community with, with this with this kind of thing, because we just we don't simply want like a another house update where it's just um small stilt houses on the beachfront and there's not nothing you can do in them it's just a, a pretty furniture layout you see with this there's balconies there's there's potential rooms and stuff for other activities you can like potentially put like um you know a central for party you can make a whole another attachment to the interaction menu and host a host a house party which was one of my um one of my biggest things that i wanted to pitch to rockstar so like uh if you do go if you guys do go through with the mansion update and actually put some legit mansions in here we should add the host a house party feature where there'll be like some neon lights that are being displayed on your property and then um there'll be speakers that are added to the outdoors and these speakers are all be linked to the radio stations that you already have in game. So like you can just play whatever radio station that you prefer to listen to. And uh, at least it'll give you an option and it'll make it feel like you're having like a little outdoor party and a little venue and a little it just it'll make it feel like so much more nicer than as opposed to just having another house to walk into and load up into when you freshly load up into a session. Although that is nice seeing 
the nice fancy decorations on the furnitures and stuff. We, as players of games, seek more interactive opportunities with with these games. Like we want to see more. Like that table tennis table right there. Like open that up. There's, I'm sure there's an easy way to to incorporate table tennis into the game or put the yacht feature where when you get into the pool you automatically switch into your swim trunks and you know just like small stuff like that because um us as the players we we notice those little small extra details that game producers put into the game and just like with the vigilante like when that came out like a lot of people don't notice but you can drift in that damn thing and that that's saying enough about it it's it's a pretty much a tank it's it's heavier than a tank take that back it doesn't have the explosion resistance which is uh is pretty much a flaw it should at least have the duke of death explosion resistance like come on how can a duke of death be more of a tank than you know the batmobile but anyway but all right as you can see like he's going over some of the houses and these are the houses that i will be um showcasing in my little video that i'm doing later on or the nicer higher end mansions we could um maybe talk price and statistics and you know stuff like that later but these will be a lot of the houses that i will be um going over and we'll take like a nice little helicopter tour of the the properties and then um mainly the main point of me making this video today is to try to get a petition going I honestly want to get a petition going for some of the mansions that are potentially going to be released. So if they're going to release new houses, I don't want, well, it's okay to, this house is not too bad, but we really don't want to see shit like this. This is a normal ass house. Like a lot of us live in houses like this at home. This is a video game. We want that extra experience. We, everybody, you know, everybody wants a mansion. Like, so why not just give, give the people what you want? Now, come on now. And um, one of the biggest ones that I would say um, to make available, and this is kind of probably shooting for the stars, but the Playboy Mansion, like Rockstar, what are you doing? If you, you understand that everybody since this game has came out has at least been to the Playboy Mansion once or twice in their existence of playing GTA. And also like... um have always wanted the house like everybody who i've played with at least online has always made a claim or stated a claim to want this property or this location potentially in the future sometime and this will be like the perfect time to release that like and honestly this will be a good business move for you guys as well because the high demand for this specific location you guys could take advantage of that and open it up and put in some sick new features and Make it just make it expensive. Like uh, we don't really care. A lot of people will still will go out and buy shark cards just just to get enough to buy this damn mansion and and have it if they know that they can get the um the Playboy Mansion available to them now. Especially after um the legendary Hugh Hefner himself uh, just recently passed. How what better way to pay like a little tribute than to open up his little Playboy Mansion in the game and make it available to the players and open it up. And I, I would say slap like, like a 20, 15 to $20 million price tag on it. You, you could even go upwards to about like, like 25, 50 million would be pushing it. But at the same time, people, people would complain regardless. Cause they complain on every DLC. That's just not how fucking people are. But, um, that would really honestly, make a lot of your players happy and it would honestly help your business out a lot and um if you guys are interested in like some more ideas and stuff for releasing dlcs and stuff like um feel free to hit my inbox or my gmail account i will most definitely get back to you guys especially if it's rockstar and you guys uh, need ideas for you know new shit and new stuff like that because um you know it's time for a little a change of a change of things on the GTA front because as far as the money making goes, like people are starting to get really, really tired of delivering six thousand packages in the slowest minivan possible from Los Santos Airport all the way to the back end of the country while 
avoiding the most asshole players in the nation who just sit on mountains waiting for you to leave your base with your product so they can blow it up, which is another thing. Why would you put that feature like giving them a boost or giving them money for blowing up your shit? And it's only two thousand dollars, but it's the fact that they know if they blow up your stuff, it'll benefit their business that they just blow up your shit. I mean, I know it's supposed to make it more competitive and all, but at the same time, how is anybody supposed to make money if everybody's trying to just blow up everybody else's businesses? So a little solution I have came up with with this is, um, you know, you could you guys could easily, easily, easily put like a restaurant train in a uh, restaurant chain in here and um, like businesses where they can make passive income. You know, where you can always make it doesn't have to be the most ridiculous amount of money. Let's say cap it at like a hundred thousand dollars a day or something like that. But um, make it to where we can make some passive income because these DLCs are expensive as shit. And the fact that when I turn on my system is the only time my workers are working in the cocaine lab or the weed warehouse or any other uh, locations and businesses I have. It, it just it makes it to where you pretty much don't really make a profit because you you got to pay utility charges and shit for that. And plus, every fucking day, every single day, I shit you not, my fucking locations get raided every single day. Like I, I at least lose one of my businesses a day that that part of the the concept of this shit is really ridiculous. Rockstar, you really need to fucking fix that shit because you're going to lose some really faithful, faithful players with this kind of strategy like oh but going back to topic look at these mansions my god we will be going into deep detail later on ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna give a nice little tour i'm i might even hit every house in the neighborhood but we'll we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes let's see how much audio quality and the poor video quality and the poor everything quality i'm very new to this youtube and new to everything so just the fact that I'm putting videos is a is a miracle but thank you guys for tuning in if you did and please 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 just subscribe and i'm trying to gain a fan base i post a lot of um discussion videos i'll be talking about you know dragon ball super a lot of the animes I'm into, we can have like theory discussions, etc. I'll do a lot of GTA gameplays, a lot of WWE gameplays, and ladies and gentlemen, I am the greatest WWE commentary commentator that you will ever hear in your life. You're looking at one of the true 90s era, one of the true 90s era babies out here on the mic and representing so yes i'll uh, be blessing you guys with some of the most fucking destructive footage you'll ever see in that game and um yeah you guys have a good one thanks for tuning in and uh see you later